All right, so brace yourself for a new setback in the vaccine rollout one week before that eligibility expands statewide to anyone over 16. We're now learning how big a hit states are going to take from that recent Johnson & Johnson flub that led to millions of doses being thrown away. Today in the base, Sierra Johnson live in San Francisco looking at the data and the impact this will have on Bay Area County. Sierra, we know some counties are going to fare better or worse than others. Yes, good morning, Chris. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine was really a game changer. It was a one dose, one and done type of situation, uh, which made it possible to vaccinate uh, a lot more people because of its simplicity. But according to the Mercury News, the state of California expected to see a drastic drop in the number of uh, doses of Johnson & Johnson, as much as 90% drop. Uh, let's take a closer look at those numbers. Again, according to the Mercury News, the state expects to receive 575 uh, to, for, to drop rather from 575,000 vaccines to just 68,000 Johnson and Johnson vaccines next week. And when we're looking at the big picture, that means uh, the state will receive a total of 2 million vaccines down from 2.4 million vaccines. That's how many they received this week. Last week, Johnson and Johnson did issue a statement regarding the quality of a batch of vaccines being made at a production facility near Baltimore. Moore explained the batch did not meet the company's quality standards and was, quote, never advanced to filling and finishing stages of the manufacturing process. Did some more research. Situation there, some of the AstraZeneca ingredients actually got into the Johnson and Johnson batches. They're made in the same facility, but just on different ends of the building. So that's why that batch was scratched there. So we're really going to feel the ripple effects uh, with the shortage of this vaccine.